today I'm going to be painting some lavender. I'm going to mix cobalt and bright rose together. Permanent rose is very similar. And I'm going to be mixing this green with a little bit of lunar earth so they'll be coming together kind of in the middle of the wheel here. It'll be a lovely grayed off green. And if there's similar, if there's sufficient green, I'll kind of be going for a complementary scheme, just kind of. That's the beauty of the Quilla wheel. Anyway, I'm going to make a purple and I'm going to make a grey green and paint some really lovely loose lavender. Here goes. I'm going to be painting a vase and I'll situate that around here. And then I'm going to be painting a series of lavender that are um, in the bars. I actually painted this today with my students so it's really fresh in my mind as to what I have painted. I'm mixing cobalt, a bit more I think, and bright rose to come up with a purple that I love and is appropriate for the lavender. I could go a little more to the pinker side. Lovely. I'm going to grab another brush and mix together my phthalo turquoise and some lunar earth, which is going to dramatically grey down my Thalo turquoise, adding more, and of course Lunar Earth creates texture. It's a granulating pigment from Daniel Smith. Or oh, I could go even more, really making my Lunar Earth messy. There. If you didn't have Lunar Earth, raw sienna would substitute nicely. All right. I'm going to delicately draw in my vase shape. And that'll do for where I'm going. Grab a lovely big brush full of water and paint the vase. be quite loose about the way that the water moves. Just gently putting in some extra water there. Spray bottle to spritz where the blooms are going to go. And then I've got my purple for my bloom, so beautiful lavender shapes. Just dramatically simplifying the lavender. Maybe one comes out over here. Put some colour down there. Come straight in with my grey green. Oops. start with some of the stalks. Stalks, stalks. I mean some of them have lovely little leaf shapes. I'm going to put in a tiny bit of colour so that uh, the side of the vase is defined so we know where the edge of it is. I'm going to get another brush, this is a quill, just wet it and uh, mix some of this purple and green together. Gives a really beautiful grey purple. And put in the tips of the lavender. Lovely 
tips. I want this purple to be thicker, so pure cobalt will make this batch here thicker and add some definition to the shapes of my lavender because I've pretty much lost the definition and there were some in there. This brush is completely dry. I'm going to lift out some shapes. Control that excess water. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of the paint on my brush and I want to go in thicker again. So this time I'm going to grab pure pink, mix it into that batch there. It's getting thicker as I mix more paint with no water and attempt to add some shape again to my lavender. Let's see if I can lift out some stalks. Create a bit of interest coming down and also it's going to lift out some of the excess moisture. Creating some lovely lines there too. That's nice. So this side of the vase is looking really bonky. So I could match this side up or I could draw a bit of focus by giving it a bit of a rim. Just draw some interest up at this level. Just constantly washing that paint off. It sucks it up and then I want to get rid of it. Sucks it up. So I'm washing dirty water, clean water, and then the towel. Dirty water, clean water, towel. I quite like that. This one looks a bit odd, so I'm just going to soften that one. I don't like it. 
lovely little bit of colour there. Now then, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to fix this side of my vase. <laughs> it's got this extra lump in it that I don't need. All right. That's better. Okay. Go back to my green. It's lovely thick green here. See if I can add some green details into these blossoms. They're still beautifully wet. It's giving them a little more form and slightly darker. Oh, that's way too thick. I need to go to a lovely liner. Yeah, it's a liner. Wet it. Pick up the thick green. That's just terrible. And, oh, much better line. I know I'm going through the rim, but I'll, it's easier to put in a continuous line and re-establish that rim later. Much easier this way. a little more detail to my blooms with that green. Try and connect my stems a bit more. Back to my flat brush. While it's still wet, re-establish Hopefully it looks like a glass vase. Dirty water, clean water. Dry it off and it's still working so that's lovely. And I don't want it to be a continuous line but I went a little far than I wanted to so I'm just adding that line in. Okay, what else does it need? I think it needs a bit more detail with the purple, but I need it to be thicker than that. So back into the paint, pure paint, and I get that lovely thicker version of the paint and push it into the green. And give these ones lovely detail.
and I think I'm done. I'm going to sign it while it's in this lovely state and I've got plenty of watercolour on my palette that's runny enough. 